and welcome. You are watching Health Talk session by Yashoda Hospital. Heart disease is a major health concern in today's era. Besides taking medicine or undergoing a surgery, a person can take a range of actions to improve their heart health. So let's discuss about what is the role of diet and exercise for a healthy heart in our today's episode. I'm Dr. Lakshmi and joining us today we have with us Dr. Rajshekar V, consultant cardiologist from Yashoda Hospitals, High Tech City. Welcome doctor. Hello. So doctor, I'm sure most of us are aware that a certain kind of diet, food can increase the chance of a heart disease in a person. So what exactly is the significance of diet for a heart disease? Well, the importance of uh, a good diet for preventing heart disease uh, has been uh, really recognized more and more during recent times. For many decades, actually most people, including uh, physicians, and nutrition experts were actually on the wrong track with respect to diet and heart disease. For many years, it was felt that a diet which is high in fat uh, is bad for heart. And therefore, a lot of uh, experts, they advised us that they should reduce the fat in the diet and increase the carbohydrate in the diet. But now we have robust evidence in the form of many, many good uh, uh, population studies that when the carbohydrate of the diet crosses 40 or 50 percent of your source of calories, then it steeply increases your risk of heart disease. So a diet which is high in carbohydrate is not good for the heart. And similarly, and very interestingly, we have found that a diet which is high in fat, regardless of the nature of fats, is actually not harmful for heart disease. So an ideal diet in terms of uh, a healthy heart is a diet which is rich in complex carbohydrates, that is carbohydrates which are not refined sugars, carbohydrates which are complex in the form of whole grains and whole cereals and which are high source of, of fiber along with a moderate amount of good fats and a diet which has got an adequate amount of protein for building up of the muscle mass uh, is good for heart health. Thanks for busting that myth because most of us think that fats are harmful for the body, especially someone with heart disease. Yes, it's an important fact. Uh, a good amount of, a moderate amount of fats which are, which are especially we, when we say fat is bad for health, we are referring to this kind of refined fats or, or fats that are high in uh, trans fats. So these are the industry processed oils and industry processed fats are not good for health. But naturally occurring fats such as butter, cheese and ghee are actually good for the heart. We all know that exercise is beneficial for a healthy body, a healthy mind and also a healthy heart. I'm sure I don't have to convince you when it comes to talking about benefits of exercise for a healthy heart. Yes, exercise uh, is uh, just as important as diet in uh, not only maintaining ideal uh, body health, ideal body weight and also uh, for the health of your heart. So most of Experts, most of the guidelines uh, say that at least 30 minutes of exercise, good quality aerobic exercise for at least five times a week is the minimum that is required for good heart health. So that comes to an average of 150 min minutes of good aerobic exercise, moderate intensity exercise, that is uh, minimum that is required for a healthy heart and a healthy body. However, there are several aspects to exercise. One is aerobic exercise, which is good from the point of view of the heart fitness and overall general health. Second is muscle health. 
some for muscle health we need a little bit of uh, weight training which is required by using low intensity low low amplitude weights with frequent repetitions which is very good for maintaining the health of the muscles and the third aspect of physical exercise is flexibility for flexibility we recommend exercises such as yoga or stretching which is very important uh, to prevent injuries when you do the other forms of exercise so if you have a flexible body you are less likely to be injured when you do a jog on a treadmill or when you do a run or when you do a, any other form of aerobic activity you are less likely to be injured if you are flexible but doctor is there such a thing as too much exercise because these days we see especially young persons collapsing at the gym while working out why do you think this is happening so we know that minimum amount of exercise is about 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise that is good for the heart so what does what happens if you exercise more than that so as you keep on increasing the amount or the duration with which you exercise the benefits keep on increasing and you can go up to maximum of 600 or 720 minutes of exercise per week when we speak of exercise what is good for health and what is good for the body overall is a moderate intensity exercise which is in the aerobic range so there is a certain range of exercise during which allows optimal functioning of the body systems including the heart so it is recommended that 80% of exercise should be of this intensity is of moderate intensity and only 20% of exercise should be of high intensity so what is high intensity exercise so high intensity exercise is exercise of extremely high level where your heart rate goes up very high so it is ideal that a person exercises within the heart rate of 60 to 80% of his maximal heart rate that is where you get the maximum benefit in terms of cardiovascular health but there are some disadvantages when people try to exercise too much like for example you must have heard of several inc incidents uh, in recent times where otherwise young people otherwise healthy people uh, collapsing after um, a session in the gym after a session of intense exercise or intense physical exercise in the gym we must have heard of incidents where some people have done a marathon and they have collapsed immediately after a marathon you must have heard of some people who have been training very well and after one such training episode they have suddenly collapsed so these are rare events these are not the rule but these are the exceptions but however there is a lesson to be learned from these incidents why do these incidents happen at all one is it is possible that an individual has got a pre-existing silent heart disease but suddenly when you go beyond a certain limit so then the heart gives up so that's when these kind of untoward incidents happen also it's very important is that when somebody is overtraining is doing too much exercise without allowing time for the body to recover or for the heart to recover this might actually cause a spiraling vicious cycle of uh, damage to the heart and may result in a cardiac arrest so therefore any individual who is more than 40 years of age if he is starting an exercise program fresh or if he is embarking upon an exercise program that is highly intense and highly beyond the normal physiological limits of a heart so it's probably it is probably prudent to have a pre pre uh, pre participation physical examination and a health evaluation by a physician to rule out underlying heart disease which can precipitate sudden cardiac arrest in these individuals so doctor how about people who don't exercise at all i mean is it too late to start exercising what is your recommendation to someone who wants to start exercising yes if someone wants to start exercise no age is too late for them only it's important that if somebody is is old that's older than 40 years and wants to start an exercise program it is prudent for them to undergo a health evaluation by a healthcare professional to do a baseline evaluation of their health and thereby they can get a recommendation on what is a safe level of exercise to start with so we do a process called cardiac rehabilitation 
In this, we make a baseline assessment of the health condition of the individual. We make a baseline assessment of the physical exercise capacity of the individual. And based on that, we start slow and ramp up in time and intensity in over a course of few weeks or months. So it is very important that one should exercise, but you should know how to start an exercise program. And you should know what are the precautions to be taken when you start an exercise program. And we should be aware of the fact that we should not do overtraining, we should not overexercise, and we should do keep most of our exercise within the healthy range, that is within the 60% to 80% range, and only small percentage, and that too only in individuals who are training for a specific event or a specific event like a marathon or a specific sporting event, only they are recommended to go for a high intensity exercise training. So doctor, on a personal note, what is your health fitness mantra? I know you're a great dancer burning away all the extra calories, but apart from that, what keeps you fit? So my uh, formula for keeping myself fit is doing aerobic exercise. I do 30 minutes to 45 minutes of brisk run every day. And once a week or twice a week, I do cycling. So I switch my exercise between um, running and cycling. And I have at least uh, once or twice a week, I do a little bit of weight training with small weights uh, just to improve my muscle strength. And, uh, and I also practice yoga to keep myself flexible. I think that's the combination that is good for everybody. So before ending this episode, doctor, what message you would like to give for a healthy heart as far as exercise and diet is concerned for our audience out there? So I think my message is very simple. Uh, diet and exercise are two very important uh, pillars for maintaining and preserving one's health, including heart health. So and within terms of diet, I think we should uh, uh, forget about the myth that has been propagated for many decades that high fat diet is bad for health, and at least high carbohydrate diet which is bad for heart. So a diet which has got a moderate amount of carbohydrates, a moderate amount of fats, and a good amount of proteins, and which is not excess in calories, is good for the heart. And uh, a diet which is based on plants is much better than a diet that is based on animal products. And exercise is very important. The minimum exercise is 150 minutes per week. You can go up to 600 or 700 minutes per week. But keep your exercise moderate and not high intensity. 80% of your exercise should be between 60 to 80% of your maximum heart rate. And high interval training, high intensity training should only be reserved for very few people who have got a specific objective. But most people should exercise in the moderate range. And what is important is that it has to be consistent, it has to be regular. And along with good exercise, it's equally important to get good rest and good sleep. Because too much exercise without any adequate rest is a recipe for disaster. So this brings us to the end of this episode. Hope this episode was informative and don't forget to join us for the next week as well. Until then, stay healthy and take care. Thank you.